lot of videos where you see me cast netting out of the boat or, you know, well, I'm, all, I'm always in the boat, cast netting bait off bridges or different things. And I think I have a lot of people that they don't have access to a boat. So it's not a problem. It, it, it's really not a problem. Having a boat or having to cast net from the bank, it's not a big deal. It's a little more dangerous from the bank. And what I mean by dangerous is in danger of shredding your cast net or getting hung up on riprap great big rocks it's 10 times easier to cast net a cast net riprap from a boat than it is the bank because on the bank you're pulling sideways the boat you're pulling straight up and nine times out of ten you can get it back so today's video it's going to be a couple three different places to where guys from the bank you know and guys I've been there I've totally been there guys that have to fish from the bank or catch their their bait from a bank i've had so many questions on so many videos where guys want to know where to catch bait or how to catch bait you know well we're not going to do it from a boat today we're going to do it from a bank and i'm going to take you guys along to a couple of my spots and we're already at one and show you a couple three different spots on where to catch bait because no boat no problem y'all stay with me and we'll see if we can't catch some because i want to go fishing tonight stay tuned Taking pictures? Yeah. That's okay. The deal with this spot, guys, it's a, it's a one-hit quitter. I get to throw my net one time. After that, they go right back up that pipe. This pipe is great because it holds algae and everything in there that shad feed on. And, like, this pipe comes from 300 yards away from a, a smaller, I don't even want to call it a lake. It's just a big puddle in the middle of the woods. But... I've caught monster gizzard chat out of there. See something just rolled up in the water there. I've caught buffalo, crappie, bass, you name it. I catch all kinds of stuff. It's just an overflow is all it is. I got the net straightened out after the carp fiasco. Throw a 10 foot net, guys. Pound of lead per foot. And guys, check all your local regulations and stuff and make sure this stuff's legal for you to do. Don't take my word on it. Check your regulations. Get off her. Got to get my net straight, guys. I got a hold of a bunch of carp the other day that about made me buy a new net. My poor net is trying to recover still. Why? You zoom in on my butt? Prevert. A little better. Look, it's already on bottom. Get all this stuff untangled. I want my net straight. There's some good suckers. They didn't all disappear. No, suckers. White suckers, we call them polywogs. And a stick. That's not nice of you. Bluegills. We'll throw these back because I'll probably catch them again in the mud puddle. There's a bass. He's still hanging out down there. The suckers are going with us. You know, I put them water and they live forever. These are white suckers, guys. I call them polywogs. Flatheads love them. Okay guys, spot number two. Backwaters off of a lake. Shallows with rock 
and red mud in the bottom, which retains heat, and hopefully it retains some gizzard shed. We're gonna find out. Something took it off. There's one, begging, found them. I lost a big one out of my net. Somebody wishes to speak to you, Mom. I know. Go ahead and get it. Look at that gizzard shed. I can't see if I'm doing That's okay. That monster. Found them. They're out a little deeper. Look at the size of that, guys. Look, they're always missing their eyes. Look at his eyes messed up. I get them like that around here. Come here, Goofy. That's a monster gizzard shed. Mm -hmm. Nailed him. This spot, male can't get down here with me, guys. Rip, rap, and her do not get along. Last time I was down here, I throwed my net and totally filled it full of carp. There's a underwater tunnel that comes out down here. And hopefully it's got some carp in it. I'd like to have like some six or seven inch ones. Hopefully, if we get any at all, if we get any carp at all, I hope that they don't destroy my net because they like to do that. And let's hope I don't, I see mud balls out there under the water. Or should I say mud balls? Or should I say, how do I put this? They're stirring the mud up underneath there. Okie dokie, there's an underwater tunnel right there. Comes from one side of the lake to the other. And right now the lake's just up and this usually has no water in it. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get some, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll hang the net up. Maybe we won't. where I can throw. These trees are in my way. Stomp them down a little bit. Now we're golden. Let's see what's in there. There's something in it. There's a bunch in it. Gizzard shad, carp, all kind of stuff. Big gizzard shad, big carp. They don't like to come out of the net, my friends. By the way, this is spot number three. Carp do not like to come out of the net. So we're going to keep this carp. Quit it, Jimmy. And keep these two decent sized gizzard shed. Hang on a second, let me dispose of this carp. Okay, Jimmy, the carp's disposed of. There's a gizzard shed. There's a gizzard shed. Let's see what these other two are doing. I had to 
give him an attitude adjustment. Go ahead. We done. We're done. That's a wrap. They didn't trash my net as bad as the last ones did. Last one I caught like 15. But I got a couple gizzard shed. I caught four carp. I throwed the great big one back. Kept the small ones. That's our bait for the weekend, guys. So, like I say, you just got to be willing to travel a little bit. We, we traveled maybe 20, 30 miles. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe 40 round trip. And all my spots, I have them to where I hit them. I'll stop and hit this one, then I'll hit this one. On my way back, I'll move over and hit this one. I'm not just kind of running willy-nilly. You know, these spots are proven, and I usually always catch bait in them, guys. So, you just got to want to go get it. If if you don't have a boat, it's no problem. You just got to work a little bit harder, as y'all seen today. But we got plenty of bait for the weekend. We got plenty of bait. We got gizzard shad, carp, and suckers. And I got some frozen red horse in the freezer if I need be. So, that's all it is. Guys, we'll see you on the next one. We love you.